Ho, 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 people. And we're going to talk about Bitcoin. So far, it's been a good boy this year, coming up from 3,000 to 6,906. And it's been good to people who have held, but not good to people who bought in at 14,000. Ho, ho, ho to them. But this is my prog uh, prognosis for the rest of this year on Bitcoin. I do think it will probably continue to slide up until the last week, about December 27th, once again, that is the CME uh, futures expiry date. <clears throat> so I actually do expect this slide about, until about 24th or the 25th for the next week. Yes, there will be ups and downs, but generally I'm assuming a general downtrend up until, uh, up until about the 24th or 25th. It might actually stop sliding in a week from now, like 22nd, 23rd, but I do expect one more sharp drop off because of that. Um, my guess is it's going to be either like around 6,500 where we stopped dropping or about 6,000. But right now, if I was going to buy Bitcoin, I would wait until the 27th or the 28th after Christmas. I would probably buy into the new year because next year is the halving. And I, if I look at the last halving cycle, before the halving, it did rise up. And then it basically dumped down about 40% in the two months after the halving before rising slowly for the next year and a half, accumulating in the twenty seventeen end of 2017 bull run. So although history is not a predictor of future success in the market, it is the best predictor that we have because we have no other data right now. But right now, I would say Bitcoin is definitely on a downward slope to about 6,500, maybe about 6,000 by the last week of December. 27th, again, is that magical date. And yes, I did actually buy some VeChain today. Um, but only with a very small portion of the Bitcoin that I actually had set aside for that. A part of the reason is because of the security breach that happened last week. But mostly it's because I don't really think VeChain is going to come up with any big news um, until the after the end of the year. Now, I might be proven wrong tomorrow about that. But I just don't think so because all their stuff like food gates, uh, you know, the Chinese vaccine, if they're even involved in that, you know, more stuff for Walmart and stuff like that. Um, they really are saying that it's not really going to happen until next year, um, you know, throughout this month. Because Foodgates isn't until like February or March. San Marino is not until Q2. And um, a lot of the stuff is actually going to happen around Q2. The hack really shouldn't bother any. I'm not, it's not even a hack. It's really like the security breach for the theft should not bother any of their partners. Their partners aren't really investing in the VET token for profits, they're using the VET token to generate VTOR. And honestly, like the security breach and the 1.1 billion coins, that does not really affect any of the blockchain operations. The blockchain is actually secure. It actually hasn't been hacked. It's really like, it's really only the retail investors that could actually be affected by that breach, which sucks for us, but the ecosystem should actually be fine. Um, as far as I know, they're still on board with that. Uh, none of the partners have actually ditched them or anything. Um, so, the whole ecosystem is actually fine, but I personally do not see an increase until the end of the year. But I bought with like a, a very small portion of the BTC I had actually set aside just in case it randomly goes back up or they have or like some company announces something before the 31st of December. But with the holidays coming up and most people are getting ready to go on vacation for the rest of the year, I highly doubt that's actually going to happen. So VeChain, um, that's why I bought. That's why I bought a little bit, but I didn't buy in with the entire stack. I will probably buy in as we get um, into the new year and in early January next year, as we prepare for more announcements in February, March, and probably leading up to the crest, which is essentially leading up to the crest, which I think will be the summit, which is probably like in late March and early April, just like last year. So that's uh, my Bitcoin prognosis. Why I bought a little bit of VeChain and. Uh, hopefully you enjoy this video. Thank you and have a nice day.